April 25 will be restored to give us opportunity to change layout mode from freeform to responsive. Continue watching this video to know how does it look like in practice. Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio Expert, a founder of Gaili Reports. On my website, you can see a lot of marketing templates in Looker Studio and also articles about Google Sheets in Looker Studio for marketing. Let's go. So, I had in the beginning this simple dashboard with three charts. And here we have layout preform. To change this dashboard to responsive, I need to have one chart per page. Obviously, I have already three pages, three charts on this page, so I cannot do it. And I created a new dashboard. First of all, why do we need responsive layout? And what is this? It means that dashboard will change size for different in different devices. If we go to view mode and I open developer tools and here there is a little icon toggle device toolbar. And if we click here, we can see how do we see this dashboard on device. Dimension responsive, I can see, for example, iPhone 14. <coughs> and I can see how this dashboard will be open on iPhone. It's kind of okay, but it's little, really small and it's difficult to read this dashboard. That is why do we need responsive layout. So this is our standard. First of all, the biggest difference that we have sections right now. On responsive layout, I create dashboard, uh, layout is responsive. We have a header and we have each dashboard section. So we cannot group element and we can, for example, I have two elements on this section and I cannot move one after each other. Like it's impossible. I have 12 columns here. If you can count, it is 12 columns. We can do we don't have page size because it does make sense. We observe dashboard on different devices. So we don't have canvas size. If we go to them and layout for the dashboard, you see these options much less than options that we have on layout for this dashboard. Here we have Canvas size, snap to, grid settings, we have nothing of this on our responsive and we don't need it actually. So how do we know? We cannot put element one above each other. So we can put elements only in line as I did in header. For example, I have my logo, I have like my title, some filters. How do we know which height of the section do we have? If we make one chart is bigger, it became bigger. If it became smaller, it is became it became the section became smaller. We have much less opportunity for design, I would say, with this type of dashboards. We have normally we have if we talk about filters, normally report settings, we can set up data source for the page, filter for report. So this is report settings. We can stop filter for for report. If we go to current page settings, we can stop filter for settings. And now we can set up filters for section. And I added here, for example, page search, email and the page others, for example. For this section, this filter doesn't apply. So when we use two filters on the page with group element, now we don't need it. What an interesting thing here as well. I think this is the main ideas of this stuff. So we have 12 columns, we have one line in each section, we can create new pages. We cannot have report level elements, so I created a new page. I don't have title here and I cannot make my logo. I want to make my logo on every page. I don't have option to move this element to report level and have this on all pages. And here I have this, so it's purple and I can, why? It's on the report level. So if I click here, for example, you can see that make report level. I don't have this option on responsive layout. And finally, let's see how it 
will look like on mobile because this is the main benefit. We have a lot of restrictions, we have some limitations. So this is not useful, we didn't use to it to this layout. What is the benefit? It should be benefit if we check on mobile. So let's do it, let's go to view. More tools, developer tools. I have my toggle elements. And this is how it will look on iPhone. I can close it. So I want to say that idea is good. Title kind of it's good. Compare with what we see here. So here we like our title uh, like iPhone 14. So we see the chart change it size, but we don't have scroll here. But we cannot see the whole chart, and we cannot scroll it to see the whole chart. Table, it's kind of okay for table, I would say. We can read titles of the table. If we have short title, it will be fine. So tables, I think, will be nice and it's possible to use. But charts, charts as well, time series chart. It's kind of, I think, ID is good, but I think it is not ready to use yet, unfortunately, this feature. And if you want, if you know that your report will be used for mobile, so it's like main KPI for marketing that you want to send to mobile, I would use like scorecards, super simple stuff without like scorecards and tables and maybe vertical charts that will fit for mobile device. That is it. Let's open sports article from Google that to check that I didn't forgot in anything. Ah, yeah, we cannot add uh, lines and errors. Canvas size we don't need. A group in components. I said we have sections right now. Component report level we can't. Send in components forward and backward we can't because we can, like you see, we have it on in line only. Display mode fit to white actual size we don't have it. Yeah, so I think I mentioned all elements. You can experiment. If you have some good example of using responsive layout, let me know. Because actually, to be honest, I was really waiting for this update. And I was super happy when I saw I read about it. But in practice, I hope Google will update it soon and will develop this option. And soon we really can use it. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a comment. If you have a good experience with this, I will be happy to know about it. And talk to you soon. Bye-bye.